Uh, let's get on back to the countdown of my fantasy playlist of February 6, 1999. How you doing? It's Mr. DJ in the wee hours of Tuesday morning. Date is March 21st, 2017. Revisiting fantasy playlists. One of my fantasy playlists. I've compiled, gosh, God knows how many of them over the past. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's see. I've compiled my first fantasy playlist in 1979, so it's been almost 40 years. My goodness. Well, at number 11, up from 23, fantasy playlist of February 6, 1999, Have You Ever by Brandy. I got it from a source that this was Brandy's first number one hit on Billboard's Hot 100, and I was doubtful about that, so I checked uh, my cheat book. <laughs> well, you see, it's been through the, uh, it's had some uh, wear and tear over the years. Bought this thing back in 2003. And indeed, that's kind of right. Brandy's first hit record, pop hit, was I Want to Be Down. That went to number nine, number six. Baby went to number four. Broken Hearted went to number nine. Sitting in My Room, remember that from around the spring of 96. That went to number two. But then we got The Boy Is Mine. That went to number one. But that was Brandy and Monica. And then we got Have You Ever, uh, which is just Brandy at number one. Written by Diane Warren. God, dog it. I just, uh, I mentioned her a bunch of times before. She's probably, in the 80s and 90s, into the early 2000s, she was a very prolific songwriter. Some of the songs that she's written, Don't Turn Around by Aswad. Don't Turn Around by Aswad. That, Aswad was a reggae. I might be mispronouncing the name of the group. It's A-S-W-A-D. They were a big reggae band in England. They did the original version of Don't Turn Around in England, and it was a huge hit in Britain back in 1988. Redid by Ace of Base, it became a hit over here in the States in 1994. She wrote Blame It on the Rain. Millie Vanilli, remember that? Blame it on the rain. How do I live by Leanne Rhymes? I'll be your shelter by Taylor Dane. That was a nice record that Diane Warren wrote. Taylor Dane song back around 1990. And uh, just like Jesse James, one of the most brilliant songs that she ever written, but kind of a forgotten uh, 45 now or MP3, uh, just like Jesse James, which was done by Cher back in 1989. But one of the biggest songs that Diane, Diane Warren had written I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith back in 1998. And she wrote this song. Guess who produced it? Another legend. David Foster produced this record. No wonder why this song went to number one on Billboard's Hot 100. And it's flying off. It's flying on my fancy playlist. Number 11. It's knocking on the top 10. On the door of the top 10. Fancy playlist of February 6, 1999. We are talking brandy with Have You Ever at number 11.